Hi, my name is David Larkins, and I'm one of the founding members of the Esoteric Order of Roleplayers RPG Actual Play Podcast. If you're listening to this introduction, you might be curious about who we are and the types of games we play. I'm here to give you as brief an overview as I can manage. This won't be easy, since the Esoteric Order premiered on January 13th, 2013, meaning that at the time of this recording, we've been doing this for over five years and nearly 300 episodes. Although the sophistication of our recording tools has grown over time, and members have come and gone, our core goal has remained the same since the first episode, to present largely uncut recordings of high-quality, role-playing game sessions to share with the world. We hope to inspire fellow gamers and provide some small bit of entertainment for all of our listeners. Our episodes are recorded live and released to the public usually the same day as a session. Our approach to actual plays is fairly old school. We don't do seasons or narratives, at least not intentionally. We discover games together. Some work, some don't, but we always try to give every game we play a fair shake. We also try to feature a variety of different voices and perspectives in the Game Master's chair. Indeed, from the beginning, our group has been made up of a majority of female players, and our table has seen members representing the full scope of gender and sexual identity. We believe these voices give our sessions a diversity of viewpoint worth listening to. In a similar vein, we tend to stay away from the most popular games on the market. We don't call ourselves esoteric for nothing. There are plenty of high-quality D&D actual plays out there. We're interested in offbeat fantasy, weird horror, genre mashups, and games that defy easy categorization. Over the years, we've developed several different formats. If you're just now coming to our back catalog, it may all be a bit overwhelming. So here's a quick guide. Our regular game sessions feature a full group of five players plus a game master and are recorded and posted three Sundays out of the month. The sessions run about three hours and are almost always run as campaigns and vary in length from around 10 sessions to over 80. In 2015, we started a second series, which we call the Esoteric Order Duets. A duet, also called a one-to-one -one game, is a session with just one game master and one player. So far, our duets have focused exclusively on the world of darkness and have featured the husband-wife team of myself and Desiree Valdez. When a duet game is going, we post weekly, but there tend to be large gaps between games. Like our Sunday games, these episodes are posted with minimal editing and run about three hours each. In 2017, we started to convene once a month to record a slightly longer session, which is then split up into four shorter episodes and parceled out over the remainder of the month. We call this the short order, and it's for those of you who like your actual plays to be a bit more bite-sized. Each episode is about 45 to 60 minutes. Every month is a new game and a new adventure, which gives us a wonderful opportunity to try out systems we might not otherwise get a chance to play. Over the five plus years of our podcast, we've played a lot of games. The one which we built our reputation upon has to be the Great Pendragon campaign, which is also our longest. It took just about 20 months of weekly play to get through the whole thing. If you want a taste of how the King Arthur Pendragon game works, check out our Pendragon demo episodes first. We're also known for our love of horror gaming. We ran through the complete Horror on the Orient Express mega adventure from 2016 to 17, but we've got a ton of one-shots and shorter campaigns for you to peruse as well. If you're curious about the duet format, I recommend starting with Neon Masquerade, where it all began, and moving on from there. We're building up quite a little shared narrative universe, with both myself and Desiree taking the storyteller's seat and running prequels, sequels, and concurrent chronicles which play off and reference back to Neon Masquerade. If you must listen to just one episode before you decide to jump in, listen to the Great Pendragon Campaign episode entitled Year 539, Tiny Tournament Time. It's probably going to stand forever as our strangest, most affecting episode of all time, and does a good job showcasing the heart and soul of the group, if I must say so myself. That's a lot of information, so I'll leave things off for now. If you like what you hear, we hope you'll stick around, because we've got lots and lots of games still to play, and memories still to create. If you really like what you hear, we do have a Patreon you can support, which grants you access to our lively Discord channel community, and brings other bits of swag as well as access to exclusive recordings. Check out our website, www.eorpodcast.com, for a complete archive of all our recordings, as well as an overview and guide to all of our campaigns and how they link together. Or simply follow us on Facebook, Google+, or Twitter. We're the Esoteric Order of Roleplayers no matter where you look, and we're sure glad you found us. <laughs>